I hope you like it. Hey folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder, out in Richburg, South Carolina today. That is uh, exit 65 off 77. I mean, this neighborhood is just right off. Two minutes to get from the interstate to here. I'll only point that out because it's a little bit farther out than a lot of the um, neighborhoods that I look at, and I'm talking in relation to Charlotte. But rest assured, anything that you need is pretty close to this one. I just had a nice sit down with the on-site, went through some things, some concerns that I had. Alleviated most of them. Alamance. Well, their ranch plans out here. A little over 1,300 square feet. So we will not be being wowed by the uh, size of this one. But that's all right. I love the rounded corners. I don't know why. I just always have like the look. I understand the functionality of it. You're not going to... I don't know if you've had kids. I never have. I hear that they uh, will bump into things constantly. Rubbing off that paint on those corners. I do consider this a first time home buyer neighborhood. The potential in it, I think is there. I just, I've been doing this for 17 years now and you just see new builds having to move farther and farther out, new build neighborhoods um, from Charlotte, which is kind of the, the touchstone for everything around our area. I think the Rock Hill where I live is, feels like that's the suburb of Charlotte nowadays but they just keep, keep creeping farther and farther away. If you don't believe me, you know, tell me that you knew where Locust was before you started looking for new homes. I didn't know where it was. <clears throat> it's closer to Charlotte. Oh, excuse me, I think this might be closer to Charlotte than that. Anyway, down the road, I just can't help but see the value of these homes increasing. Washer and dryer. Pantry. Two car. Oh, the appliances included. Not the washer and dryer, don't get all crazy, boys and girls. Don't get all silly. Everybody's different. As long as we're keeping on top of things, making sure. If you have questions about that, because I did. The first uh, video I made, and I noticed that for the LGI Homes, and I'm going to stop here just for a second. I thought it was a little chintzy. It's like, I know you have a fantastic price point. This is what you do. This is what LGI's business model is to at least be the one builder left in America that will try to build homes for first-time home buyers. Something under $300,000. Are you kidding me? It is a cost saving feature, but they put it on there for research. We'll keep our pricing the way it is and you decide what kind of patio you want. Now that strikes a chord with me because I would prefer to put pavers out there instead of just that, was it 10 by 10, 10 by 12 patio or a little deck, just anything would be my preference. And I have done this for long enough to know that my preference is probably almost never what other people's preferences are. Um, but I like to point little stuff like that out because I walk through homes a lot and when I see things that I want to comment on that's other than telling you that that's a closet when you know it's a closet. 
blue tape um, another thing I forget I take so many videos and I think people have watched them all ha 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 um, that's just this home sold it's gonna be closing soon so they come in and run through it make sure it is as perfect as possible they're never gonna be perfect what you try to make is as nice as you can possibly get them so any little flaws on there they just paint them off and the painter comes through or the drywall guy comes through and fixes it up and you have one more walkthrough before closing oh. okay I said you rarely see me be too negative on I just like a a light above my shower no big deal all right boys and girls the alamance I like it especially what it's it's priced at it's it's amazing um talk to you soon hey top of the screen is my buyer's incentive hit me up